Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go over prompt additions, prompt exclusions, and image variations. And if you haven't watched my first video in this series, it's linked in the description below. Uh, for today's video, just like the last one, I'll have timestamps for all the different sections. So if you want to get to a specific section right away, just click on the timestamp. To get started, make sure you're logged in. I'll have my model selected as Stable Diffusion 1.5, image dimensions selected as 512 by 512 prompt guidance set at 16 and quality set at 50. In my last video, I tried a breakfast item. Today, let me try something for lunch. So I'm going to use an English pot roast. So there we have it, a beautiful pot roast with some meat, carrots and potatoes. Uh, I personally would like some bread as well. So this is where prompt additions come in handy. If you want to add specific things to your image, you can start adding them to your prompt like this. So I'll say English pot roast with bread. Just like that, we have a pot roast with some bread um, stuffed along with the pot roast and also on the side. While this looks really good, I think I want some croissant instead. So I'm going to change bread to croissant. Great, we have some pot roast with a piece of croissant here, another larger croissant right there. So that looks like a really savory lunch. Um, I think I would like some fruits. How about some bananas? So my plate of pot roast and croissant now has some bananas on it too. How about some cherries? Cool, so uh, we have a big plate of pot roast with croissant, meat, uh, cherries, bananas all clumped in together. I think you got the idea of prompt additions. So if you keep adding specific things, you can edit your image according to your needs. So let's go to the next section, which is prompt exclusions. So we have a section here called remove from image. So this one looks like a bunch of things, but the meat seems to be out of place here. So we have croissant, fruits, bananas, everything. What I would like to do is remove meat from this plate. So I'm going to say remove from image and mention beef okay so we have the same plate however there's no meat on it we have croissants bananas and cherries but the beef got removed so this one had beef right here and it got removed let's try something fun and make this AI work really hard so I'm gonna keep English pot roast remove all the additions here I'm gonna remove all these things and reset the image again so I'm gonna start removing things one by one So I removed the beef. So we just have some vegetables. Maybe is that an egg or cheese or something? We have carrots, potatoes. Okay, let me try removing carrots now. All right, so it added some bread to uh, compensate for the carrots. We have potatoes, no meat, no beef, and uh, we have some cheese. Let me try removing the bread. Okay, so we have potatoes, we have some kind of meat. I don't think it's beef, so maybe it replaced the beef with some other kind of meat. Let me try to remove potatoes now. Interesting. So beef, carrots, and potatoes are the basics of English pot roast. So I don't know if this is beef. This looks like maybe a meat alternative. Let me try to remove all the leaves. So it keeps getting weirder and weirder because I say I want an English pot roast, but I don't want beef, carrots, bread, potatoes, or leaves. So I think you got the idea of image exclusions and additions. I personally like adding things one by one to see how my image changes versus a whole big query together. That way I can reach a certain stage in my image generation and work with it. This brings me to the next section of today's video. How about instead of trying a brand new generation where it's going to give me something wildly different like this one or this one, I want to keep it pretty similar to this. This is where image variations come in handy. So you click on this image, go on actions and select create variants. So the style of this picture stays the same. So there's this cup right in this angle. There's no forks this time. Let me try another variation of this one. This kind of kept the same ingredients as this image. However, create a more 
comic like design so if for any image that you want to try different variations you just go on the image and click variants usually i like doing it one at a time but you can also create four different images every time you create variations i hope you got some value from this video and got the idea of how to do image additions exclusions and variations i would love to see some of the designs that you have created and for that you can just go to the profile section and copy this link on the top to end this video i just want to see what other kinds of pictures have been created for english spot roast Wow, some of these look really good. This looks, well, this is more like a beef stew versus a pot roast, but these look really appetizing. I think I'm making myself more and more hungry as I'm watching this. So I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you got some value. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till the next video. Thank you.